Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good. Today I'm gonna sit down and do a pregnancy Q&A video for you guys. I know I got a lot of them underneath my first trimester video, so I'm gonna go ahead and just basically look under here and um, read off what they are. So bear with me as I try to go through these and I'm super, super out of breath right now. Sorry you guys, but I am out of it. Okay, hey, do you talk openly about the baby with Fiona? We do, we talk to her all the time. We tell her there's a baby in my belly. If so, how are you approaching it? I'm basically just telling her there's a baby in my belly and it's gonna be on the way. And if you ask her what's in mommy's belly, she tells you that there's a baby in there. So we talk about it a lot with her and try to get her used to it. How do you think Ezra will adjust to the newness of a little baby? I'm not really sure. Ezra is such a mommy's boy and, but he's also like really, really sensitive but he's also really little. He just turned a year, so I don't really know what his personality is gonna be like in six months when there's a baby. I hope that he'll be okay, you know? I know that some kids have a really hard time adjusting to sharing the spotlight with a newborn, but he doesn't really have the spotlight because he's the second child, so I think he's gonna adjust okay because he's already used to sharing me with Fiona, so we'll have to see. Next question is, since you have a girl and a boy already, do you have a preference of gender this time around? Obviously a healthy baby is most important, but if you could choose, what would you want? Oh, this one is hard, because honestly I would like for Fiona to have a sister, but I would also like for Ezra to have a brother, so it's kind of difficult. Me personally, if I could choose, aside from just having a healthy baby, I probably would say girl, because I've never had a sister and I've always wanted one. So being able to give Fiona a sister, if I could, would be wonderful. So probably if I could if I could pick right now, right here, girl. But obviously we're happy with a healthy baby either way. So And if we have a boy this time, then maybe we'll have a girl in the future. I don't know. Do you plan to have more than three? <laughs> Would you wait a few years and then have more? We're not really sure. <laughs> we're kind of, our mindset is like, let's have a baby, let's see how we're doing, um, and also let's let's wait and depend on God. So I don't know, I don't see us having like 19 kids, like the Duggars, uh, at all, <laughs> actually. Um, but I don't really know, like we're still really young. I'm 25, my husband's 26, so we're kind of just, I don't know, we're kind of just going with where we're at right now. And then I think that if we feel like we're done, then maybe we'll know that we're done. I think so. I don't know. I hope that was an okay answer, but we kind of really don't know. Are there any names you're considering but won't use that you can share? Well, we don't really have any names picked out yet, so I guess, I don't know, I guess that's my answer. Um, if we, like, there are names that I like that we're not going to use. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but we're not really considering any right now, um, mainly because we're going to be finding out what we're having in a couple days, and I think that once we know, then we'll be able to kind of move forward. Is there anything that you plan to do differently this pregnancy and or labor and delivery? I don't think so. I had an all natural labor and delivery at a birth center. I actually had a water birth with Ezra and I want that. I want exactly the same thing again. Obviously I want a healthy baby, so if anything were to happen and we were to have we were to have to do it differently, obviously that would be like number one priority. But I don't really plan to do anything super dif differently, um, super differently, I don't know if that makes sense. But as far as my pregnancy goes, I think I just want to enjoy it. Um, I think that when you are pregnant and then you get pregnant again, or if you go through pregnancy at all, you hope that like in your next one you'll just enjoy it more and like not complain about the way that your body feels or looks or anything like that. So I think I kind of have the same things. I actually want to go back and watch my five things I would tell my pregnant self video that I did <laughs> because I am pregnant now and I'd like to know what I would tell myself because I don't remember. Do you plan to continue with natural family planning after having three in three years? I guess yes. We do. I don't take birth control. I don't like the way that it, it feels on my body. I don't like the way my body responds to it. I have like personal conv convictions about birth control. Um, so have, taking like anything hormonal, I really don't want to do and I don't feel comfortable doing and my husband and I together don't feel comfortable doing. Anything permanent, we definitely don't because we're only 25 and 26. So it seems to me that natural family planning is really our only other option. So yeah, we're going to continue doing that after this baby's born. Next question is, how many babies do you plan on having? <laughs> Which I kind of answered that before. We're not really sure. We're kind of just leaving that up to God. But also, um, 
trying to figure out what we feel best with, <laughs> what we can handle. I don't know. That's kind of difficult, right? Because I feel like if we're like, we're leaving it up to God 100%, then it's like, okay, well, we could end up with like 20 kids. But I also feel like maybe we're going to know, like, I don't know, I feel like God speaks to his children, so maybe he's going to, you know, give me a piece in my heart that we're done. And that's still leaving it up to God, but we just really feel like we've had a revelation from him that we're done having kids. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out myself, so I don't know, I don't pretend to have all the answers, <laughs> so I don't know. The next question is, where are you going to put this baby? I don't know girl, I have no clue, <laughs> no. We are in a two bedroom home right now, so we're in a tight space. However, where we live, renting is pretty expensive. And we're not planning on buying a house until my husband is done with grad school, which I don't know if I've mentioned that on here. Um, in the beginning of the year, we were going to buy. And then just through some personal stuff, we just decided that until my husband is done with seminary, we don't want to deal with the process of owning a home or anything like that. So we're going to continue to rent. So the answer, I guess, is that if we can find something that's bigger that we can afford, then we will definitely take it. But if not, we're more than happy um, to just make this space work. And where we will put the baby, we will have Ezra and Fiona in one room, and then the baby will be in our room with us, which is more than fine because Ezra um, was in our room until about, until about a year. So we're, we'll just make it work. The next question is, are you breastfeeding while pregnant? Do you think you would tandem nurse? Oh, that is the question that I am struggling with right now, girl. I am breastfeeding right now, and Ezra is a year, and I don't have... I don't have a very big interest in tandem nursing. Like, I really am not super pumped on it for me personally. However, if Ezra is not ready to wean, and I can't get him to wean, in a timely manner to where if when the baby comes Ezra like doesn't like Ezra remembers it I don't want that so I don't really know I don't know I'm still nursing him right now and we're like slowly we're weaning at nighttime right now um, we're doing a very slow gentle process and I'm kind of cutting back on his day feedings like I'm basically only feeding him before or after his nap time or bedtime and that's about it we're not really like nursing for comfort anymore or anything or nursing on demand anymore maybe I'll do another video on that I don't really know I don't know I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I feel comfortable with and what's gonna work with our family the last question is are we gonna be finding out the sex of the baby and we are we are gonna be finding it out in just a couple of days so I think that's all of my questions I'm really surprised that I got them all answered in this one video if I skipped over one and I didn't see it or if you've asked me it and I said I was gonna put it in this video and I completely forgot please comment below and I will get it get to it in another video for sure um, and I will definitely get to that so comment below and let me know if I forgot any questions and I will answer them for you. Thank you guys so much just for all your love and support and for being interested in our lives and wanting to ask questions about this pregnancy. We're super excited and I'm we're just really excited to share this journey with you guys and to continue to grow our family. We're just praying for a healthy baby and a healthy pregnancy and I'm just, I'm really excited. So thank you guys again and I will catch up with you guys later. All right, bye.